All right. Kevin. Kevin. Kevin! Your name is Steve. I don't believe you. Welcome to Fantasy Foosball. I am your host, Jeff Stoltzfus, and today we will be identifying the quarterback known as the Mall Santa. What is that, you may ask? I'm glad I asked. I will explain. Let's go! Okay, today's not a sponsor is hair. You scream, I scream, we all scream for hair. That can't be right. So what is a mall Santa in fantasy football? Well, let's start with an actual mall Santa. You're standing in line at the mall. Chris Kringle is looking crisp. He's got that Santa swagger. And you're excited to ask him for a little brother or Beats by Dre or whatever. You get a little closer, and you start to notice some things. His suit has some mystery stains. His smile is a little... methy. Now you're at the front of the line, and you notice his fake beard is covering his prison yard neck tattoo, and he smells like a hollowed-out tauntaun after chilly night. This ain't Santa. Who is this clown? Well, this is a mall Santa, a.k.a. an imposter, not the real deal. And the same thing exists in fantasy football. There's an established hierarchy already in fantasy football when it comes to the QB position. There is the elite QB, the Mahomes, the Rodgers, Murray, Wilson, Allen, Prescott, pretty much anyone who can throw touchdowns and run. Then you've got the next level, the average on average. This is where you've got your Cars, Tannehills, Staffords, Ryans, Mayfields, Cousins. On an average week, they're not going to sway your team too much in one direction. They're probably not going to win you your week. They're probably not going to lose your week. They're average on average. And if you find yourself stuck with one of them, you're usually okay. The next level comes bad starters. But then there's a line, and you get to the good backups, and then the crappier backups, the just a backups. On both sides of this line, bad starters and good backups, this is where the mall Santa of fantasy football lives. This line in and of itself is a Mendoza line. Not familiar with the Mendoza line? I would love to tell you all about it. The Mendoza line is an expression in baseball deriving from the name of a shortstop, Mario Mendoza, whose poor batting average is taken to define the threshold of incompetent hitting. In other words, it's the line of competency. To just be. This line that separates the bad starters from the too good to be a backup will house the mall Santa, and he will flip and flop over this line throughout time. Examples of these mall Santas are Ryan Fitzpatrick, the NFL's middle child, Case Keenum, Super Bowl MVP, Nick Foles, medical shanking victim, Tyrod Taylor. And there are even legit starters who have turned into mall Santas late in their career. Andy Dalton, Joe Flacco, Camuel Newton. What difference is there, Jeff, you may ask? between a mall Santa and a bridge quarterback. Time, and that's about it. Uh, in the beginning, you won't know that they're a bridge quarterback. You only apply that label later in life when you're trying to transition into the next guy. So at this point, these guys I just discussed are gonna be called bridge quarterbacks, but when they first come out, you don't know that they're going to be that. Mall Santas are not completely useless. However, they are problematic. Their use is as a streaming option. You sometimes need these guys if you're streaming quarterbacks, if someone gets hurt or whatever throughout the season. You're going to enjoy having a Ryan Fitzpatrick or someone like that for a week or two. But what you don't want to do is draft one of these guys. And even worse, in Dynasty, they are death because they are fantasy dingleberries. They cling to your roster and take up valuable roster space that you can't fill with a young talent. They're just, they're just clinging to your, to your fantasy roster's butt hairs. They're just there. They're just hanging there. They're just, they're just hanging there. So let me give you a list of current mall Santas in the NFL. Marcus Mariota, 
Mitchell Trubisky. Gardner Minshew, you mulleted little. Drew Locke and Daniel Jones, I'm sorry to say you are most likely mall Santas. I think that this year, it's going to be proven. And finally, Jameis Winston. Now we see him for what he is. I don't care if he had laser eye surgery. In fact, God help us if Jameis Winston is shooting lasers out of his eyes with the accuracy he's displayed during his NFL career. He's going to be burning down houses the likes of which we haven't seen since the movie Carrie. What's that? Carrie. Burning. Burning. She burned stuff, didn't she? Well, what movie am I thinking of? What's the Stephen King movie with the girl who starts fires? Oh, Firestarter. Yeah, that tracks. So let's look at the 2021 rookie QB class to see who might be a potential mall Santa in the making. Bold statements are really cool on the internet. So Trey Lance. I actually don't think Trey Lance is a mall Santa, but he does have a small amount of risk for that. Uh, I think a lot of people are really high on Trey Lance, especially ones with the last name that rhyme with Shanahan. But there's a small amount of risk there that maybe he can't transition and he's just a talented guy sometimes. Some people say Justin Fields, but I think those people are high on life and quite possibly illegal narcotics. Justin Fields is going to be super sweet. Some people will say Kyle Task, but that's not even his name, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> his name is Kyle Trask, and honestly, I like him. I don't know if he's ever even going to be a starter. We're all going to be collecting social security checks before Tom Brady ever retires, so I don't even think it's a concern. So if I'm going to leave you with one name today, in this 2021 QB class that some people are very high on, and I think is the definitive mall Santa in this class, it's going to be Kellen Mond. Oh no, he didn't do Kellen like that. He did. Poor Kellen. Poor, poor, sweet Kellen. I wish him nothing but the best. But I don't see what everyone else sees in his potential. Uh, the problem here with Kellen Mond, besides I don't think he's going to be a good NFL starter, is where he's at. Kirk Cousins is in that second tier, the average on average. And really... What's the impetus to make the switch to a potential guy in Kellen Mond? I mean, it's going to take a serious injury or something crazy in the coaching staff to even look at Kellen Mond on the field in this year. It doesn't make any sense to me. Your best bet is an experienced average vet for the next few years. My best guess is Kellen Mond was a pie in the sky, early third round dart throw by the coaching staff just to see if they could take somebody who's super athletic, something that Kirk Cousins is not, and make him into a real quarterback. But I don't think that's going to happen, and I think two years from now, they're probably going to be drafting high and draft their QB of the future then. And we'll never even hear of Kellen Mond again, unless he pops up on another team as a potential starter. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button on your way out the door. Peace! Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. It sound right, boy. Hello? Man in the dark here. Kevin!